Welcome back fellow prospectors and this is another video in the video series. Today we are going to focusing on building. So let's get started. We have already procured a lot and we've mined any above ground resources that we indeed did have. And so in order to build a building, we do need to have a free lot without any resources on it that are above ground, which we've done. So we've cleared that. Now we're gonna go ahead and decide what building to build. So we could build pretty much any of these. Um, most of, some of them do require certain resources to be on the plot, such as a gold mine. Um, I'm gonna take a look at these and I think I'm going to do the stone workshop. I want to do that because you know what I just cleared off a whole bunch of stone so I know that I do have stone on hand and you can clearly see it here under required resources so just before I decide on this building I'm gonna go look at the Academy and just double check exactly what the stone workshop makes and what resources I need for that okay so I know that for both the stone block and the stone plates that I need stone which I have a lot of so indeed, I am going to then choose to build the stone workshop. I'm gonna go back and click on the available spot and click build. Okay, so I have the required resources and I can get started for stage one. So I'm going to press get started. And I have a couple of workers here that do have the tools required for stage one. So I'm going to put them to work. I'm going to put them both to work for the maximum amount of time, which is 300 minutes. You'll also see that there's a construction time and you're allowed a certain amount of workers on the plot to be able to work on this simultaneously. And you'll see I have two workers working out of a possible 16. Now I would love to get this done a little quicker, so I'm going to create an order to get people to work on this build for me as well. Okay, so I only have 900 minutes left in this particular scenario. And I'm just going to put a price of what I think is maybe fair. But just because I want to get it done extra quick, I'm gonna go check the other job offers out there and see exactly how much people of similar jobs are offering them up for. So you only require a pickaxe for stage one, so I'll highlight that. It seems to me that I'm the only one that has something out there, but if I go look at other jobs that are out there as well, then mine would seem a little low, so I may not have people that will come and do them. So based on that, for my own personal decision, I'm going to go and change the amount of compensation for this particular build order. So I'm going to go back and alter it and make it something a little bit juicier. This may incentivize people to fulfill these orders because they'll get a little bit more of a pay in gold. And there we are. So I'm going to fast forward and stage one is complete if we go check on the building process here. And there we go, stage one's complete. Now stage two I'd like to start, but it turns out I'm missing some required resources so the get started button isn't available. So I have to go to market and go and buy some of these resources. It's always a good idea to try and choose resources that are closer to you so you cut down on walking time. And I'm going to buy the necessary amount. Perfect. And I'm going to go locate the all my stuff icon. and find out exactly where these resources are so I can go and pick them up. There's a couple of ways you could do this. You can send a worker over there and then load it up and move it back on. Or I also like to make a transfer order. So I go to the storage of the lot that the resources are on, choose my own lot here, 
put in a price, sometimes fairly low if I'm doing it for myself because I still have to put gold up. And this way, it becomes an order on this lot and I can send all my workers, they will go, pick the resources up and come back whole round trip without me having to do much of anything else. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make them all go and transfer my resources back over to my lot. All right, so we fast forwarded, we have all the new resources and we can get started on stage two now. Okay, now there's another amount of construction time and I'm going to equip all my workers with the necessary equipment here so they can build. I'm going to put them all to work for the maximum amount of time. And then of course, create an order just like last time so I can get this finished a little quicker. And we can get started on stage three. Again, another construction time and only one of my workers has the necessary tools. So I have to equip my other two to make sure that they have their proper tools and they can work as well. So while one's working, I'm getting the other two ready. Okay, and I'm going to put the last two workers to work. And then create an order. This will be my last order that I have to put out there. And people will fulfill it, and they did, of course. And here we are, and we now have a fully completed building. So our stone workshop's ready to go. We'll make a couple of little orders here because we already have the resources on hand. So these are orders that I would like people to fulfill, or I could also fulfill them as well. And one thing to keep in mind during this whole process is anytime that you are building a building or completing a building, if you decide to destroy it at any time, you're only going to get 50% of the building materials that were used in the process of building that building. So it's something to think about. So I would make sure that you are building what you want at the beginning, but at least you'll get some of it back if you have to destroy it. And that's it. Now you've seen how to build a building from the ground up and all the stages that go on. Stay tuned for another video so you can learn more about the Prospector's Game. Please remember to hit subscribe so that you stay up to date with all our latest videos. This video was narrated by Jenny of EOS Very Cool.